Hi, Luke and Rafa. Hope you're well. Uh, so I've got a question. Um, basically, uh, my girlfriend recently moved. We were in a long distance relationship and she recently moved to be closer to me. And I'm feeling slightly guilty about the fact that she moved to another place quite far from her family for me. And I was just wondering if you have any advice on that. Is it normal to feel guilty or is this something that you just kind of have to move past? Um, so I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. Thanks. Well, that's a, a pretty good question. Mm -hmm, very interesting. And it follows the line of thought from the previous segment when you know, couples are living apart, right? Living in different countries. That's what I understand from his question. Uh, feeling gu I don't think he should feel guilty. Although normal. It's normal. Mm -hmm. I, I know he feels for his uh, girlfriend, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He feels for her. Maybe she's made few complaints or maybe he's noticed that she feels uh, that, that, I mean, he, he's noticed that she misses her family. She's a bit homesick, uh, but he didn't, f he shouldn't feel guilty because I don't believe he went over to where she was and handcuffed her and dragged her <laughs> over to this, to where he is right now. I think she agreed with him to be here, right? But you see, they were, they were dating. Uh, they, I mean, it was a long distance uh, relationship. They were dating. Uh, on a long distance basis and I think it wasn't working that's why she decided to come over or because now they decided that you know they don't no longer want to be apart yes. but here is a consequence of long distance relationships it's one consequence that yeah. yes you're gonna have someone move their entire life for you and you're gonna feel guilty I think the positive about him feeling that way I think he should transfer instead of feeling guilty to always be aware of that. Never forget what she's done for you, for your relationship. Mm -hmm. So always be have... Be appreciative uh, yes. towards her sacrifice. Always right? have that. Never forget what she's done. And I think, because it's like this, Luke. She, in this case, she was the one who made the sacrifice. His life continues the same. Except that now is better because he has her. So or, may, or maybe, maybe uh, I don't know where he's from, but... As I, as I said before, uh, we have people from all over the world here in the UK. They come to work, to study, to, to make a, a living. Um, maybe he's not from here either. Mm -hmm. However, uh, due to the fact that he's a man, he can handle that. We Better. men can handle. Yes, yeah. we, we, we're not so you know, emotionally attached to our families as women are. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in this case, for a woman, it's, it is a bigger sacrifice, indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's perhaps why he feels a bit guilty. Yeah, so it's like for him, everything is great because apart from continuing his life as normal, now he has her near him. So for him, life is, for her, is good because she's with him. But on the other hand, she sacrificed everything. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a healthy um, thing to always be aware and try to compensate. So mm -hmm. never forget that. She has given up things for you. So you have an extra responsibility to make her happy uh, whenever possible, if, if possible at all, go and visit mm -hmm. her family. Just make it worth her while, you know, because she changed her life for the relationship. So you can't just say, life's great, you know, let's just carry on. You have a part to play. You must make a sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. So I think your responsibility has doubled to make her happy. So the guilty in this case, transfer the guilt into, you know, I'm going to, I have to sacrifice too. Mm -hmm. I have to appreciate Meet her. her halfway. Yeah. Okay, now we go back to uh, making decisions based on emotions, right? Mm -hmm. did, did she? Uh, was she aware of her feelings towards her family? If she was aware of those feelings, why did she make the decision? She was very much attached to the family. So that's one thing. Another thing, uh, what are they willing to do with this relationship? What is the next stage? Mm -hmm. Because if you are willing to be with someone, you know you're gonna have to sacrifice your family anyway. So whether you're in your country or not, whether you're close to them or not, you can't keep your family with you all the time. We've seen uh, quite a lot of couples struggling, uh, going through uh, problems because even after they got married, family was still involved. You know, there, 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 there was a lot of meddling from the parents, siblings, and so, uh, so on and so forth. So 
Okay, she left her family, she left her country and moved over. With which intention? Mm -hmm. To keep attached to her family or to simply stay with you, you guys, you know, perhaps you engage and one day get married and live your own lives. So you, you become family to each other. So this is another problem that we, we, we see. You know, uh, family always been an issue. There is nothing wrong with seeing your family or, you know, interacting with your family even after you are married. However, many couples forget that once they are married, their immediate family becomes each other, right? Like, for example, in our case, you are my family now, my immediate family. My parents, my, my, my sister, they became relatives. I can't be with them and with you at the same time. <laughs> and in our case, we are abroad, we are living abroad. They are, they are still uh, back home. So how can we keep that relationship? So she left her family mm -hmm. to be with him. Now she misses her family. So she needs to understand that, that, that that's quite hard to accomplish. Yeah, a decision was made. So it, it's both ways. Now, one thing that came to my mind with this question is, is this because he is his girlfriend and this goes for everybody who is now in a long distance relationship if the conversation has come up where you know let's be together let's live at least in the same area <laughs> if that came up i think you need to consider first where you want this relationship to go because let's say okay let's move over here and we will, you know, we'll see how it goes. Imagine the person has left everything, job, mm -hmm. her future there, and came, but you were never, you know, your intention was never to make the relationship last. It was just a nice thing that was the going fam on for The a while. famous short, short term decisions. Yeah. Right? So I oh, yeah, just come, you know, just come. So you have to understand that the person has made this huge sacrifice, but you were never intended to stay with the person in the long haul. So if you don't want that, then don't be selfish. Don't make that decision to cause the person to come to you knowing that you have no intention of committing to that person. And, and not, That's unfair. And not only that person who is inviting the other to come over, but the one who's making the decision to go over. Also, yes. So in her case, she, she, mo she moved over to stay here with him. Uh, so uh, she needs to ask, okay, so where will this go? Yeah. What before is that? you move. Before that you move. Because, it can't be yeah. like, okay, we're here now, I'm here now, so what next? <laughs> that, 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 that's, that's very risky. And that's when people get hurt. Yes. That's when relationships fail, people get hurt, heartbroken, because their, deci their decisions were made based on emotions. And once again, once again, it all comes down to the time when you were dating, when you're getting to know the other person. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Don't make any decisions based on the way you feel, just because you feel. Because if you, if you make decisions based on the way you feel, later on, when you'll be forced to use your reasoning, when you'll be forced to use your, your, your gray matter, you come to the realization that that was not a good decision. You're gonna have to fight, you're gonna have to get into arguments, things will not look good, they'll look pretty ugly, and the only thing that's left is separation, divorce, heartbreak, as I said, or maybe a failed relationship. So avoid that, avoid that. We are here weekly, weekly, advocating intelligent love, intelligent love. Make any decision that you have to make based on intelligence rather than emotions. Consider, as I said, consider all the possibilities. All the consider all the consequences. Uh, the outcome of your decisions. What, what, what will happen if we take this path? Mm -hmm. What will happen if we make this decision? If I go over there, if it comes over here, um, you know, if we, if we move places, okay, what will I have to leave behind? Who I will have to leave behind? Am I ready for that? And by the way, once we, we make this huge move, what is gonna happen next? This is a huge investment. This is a huge sacrifice. Yeah. So will this be, uh, uh, will this investment be for, uh, we'll make this investment, pardon me, uh, on a long-term relationship basis, uh, or we're just gambling. You, you can't gamble with your love life, you can't. You can't gamble with relationships because some of the marks and stains and bruises they, 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 they take a while to, to heal. 
sometimes never heal. Never heal. Shall we see one more question? Do we have time? Well, at least we can see, and then if we don't have time to answer, we can Good. answer. Good, so let's then watch one more question, video question, and then after that, we're going to a break. And as soon as we come back from the break, we will answer the next question. Hey, Luke and Rafa. So uh, my question is in regards to communication. Now, myself and my partner, we, because of work, um, we are very distant. And from time to time, you know, oftentimes we don't really get to spend the time that we want to or communicate the way we would like um, as close as we'd like to. So how do we go about our communication, especially because my partner works far away and, you know, it's not easy for our relationship. Thanks.